Hello everyone, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at the difference between using mission escorts versus creating a separate cap mission for striking a target. So what I've done here is I've set up a pretty typical scenario. The good folks down at Barnes Air National Guard base has offered up their entire airport as a victim. Sorry, sorry guys. And up here we have an airbase. Uh, this is my secret airport and it's absolutely loaded to the gill with some really, really good generation four, four and a half fighters. So it should be pretty interesting engagement. So first of all, we're going to try this as a normal mission and then we'll try it out a little later. Let's get this all set up. Strike this. All right. So we're going to be using strike eagles today. We use six of them. We'll go ahead and now use our attack method. We'll go ahead and use a split attack. 30 seconds is good. I like a 50 mi a nautical mile split. Looks good. Looks good. We don't need the two runways to be struck. Beautiful. So instead of going in here and assigning escorts, I'm simply going to set a size of four escorts, and then we're going to add them separately. Now, the reason I do that that way, instead of the classic way where you click in here and you click on a little arrow, is because it's a little frustrating, and it gets a little fiddly when you're trying to, oh, which one is this? Which, who was carrying? Okay, was this guy? I'm not a big fan of the way they changed that aspect. I wish they had a button where they could just go back to the old one where it just told you what the loadout was. Also, I really wish you could change the size of this because it's very difficult to go through, but that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to add those regular aircraft normally. Go up to F6. Oh, oop, oop. Helps if you click on the right airport. There we go. Grab all these F16s. We're going to say escort. Grab all the... Man, this is... It feels like a waste of aircraft, but it's actually probably going to be worth it. All right. Escort, 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 and we got our strikers. Delightful. Let me just do one mental check. All right. Sounds good. Let's test. So we're interested in how much damage do we do? How many losses do we take? Whoa. That's a lot of stuff they just flung up at us, but that's all right. I'm sure none of these are friendly. Speed up time a little bit. Oop, there they are again. Hostile. All right. We didn't do a time on target here. And begin. All right. So here's where we got to get things interesting. I've adjusted the WRA on these guys a little bit to make them a little bit less aggressive. So when they fire, they should pretty much be in kill range here. Oh, nope. Apparently 50% was not the correct range. I should have set that even higher. But that's okay. We suppressed them and got them to run away. Woo! Distribute those missiles. Holy smokes, guys. Jeez. Yep, this is just like all modern warfare. The first guy to run out of missiles loses. All right. This is a... Uh, whoa, here they go again. Maybe I should have set it to 25% of max range. <laughs> oh, there goes another one. And here they come again. Whoa! <laughs> Look at this. This is just chaos. I have 24 F-15Cs. That should be enough. Seriously? He got a missile off? I'm, like, disappointed. See the chaos here? Pretty much every day over uh, the Gulf War there. Over Iraq during the Gulf War. There we go. Let's be more specific. Ooh! That's a lot of harms. I'd hate to see the bill in those. Apparently you had to fill out a form every time you launched one of those. It might have been the Shrike, though. Or not the Shrike. The Shrike was the cheap one. What was the other one? Oh, I can't remember it off the top of the standard. Yeah, the Starm. All right, our Strikers are incapable of getting into position here because they're running for missiles all the time. <laughs> Keep in mind, this is at 50% max range for the WRA here. Ooh. Jeez. There's going to be so many missiles in people's trees, it's going to be unbelievable. Like, most of New England here is just going to have AMRAMs in the back seats. Some guy's going to go out to his tractor, and there's just going to be an AMRAM hanging out of the side of it. It's like, oh, we got another one. You know, he'll go to do some farming and keeps running into it. Oh, why does my tractor keep getting stuck and so much of AMRAMs just sticking out of his farm? Ah, oh, it's just that's what it is. All right, our bombers got into position. Oh, they're doing their thing now. And Oh, whoa, whoa. Looks like somebody got a couple missiles off at the last second there. Oh, getting a couple extra. Looks good. Looks good. Looks like, oh, somebody decided to take a last second shot. That was a mistake. And now everybody's going to turn around and run. Oh, we got a bit of a dogfight going here and over the western part of Connecticut there. All right. I think everybody's going home. Maximum speed. Nice. Love it. All right. Let's see how we did. So we got losses and expenditures. Oh, we blew up a lot. Hangers, AV gas. MiG-21s, MiG-19s. Uh, this is a pretty successful operation. A bunch of uh, su 27s Not bad. Uh, they went through quite a few expenditures as well here. Oh boy, lots of those. 
Uh, how many SA2? Ooh, quite a few of those. Things lost. Man, they lost a lot of bullets here. I'm going through a bunch of SA7s, SA3s. Meanwhile, we lost 15 Eagles, 17 Strike Eagles, and one F16. Ooh, that hurts. That that that's that that's not a fair exchange rate. That did not go well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reload the mission real quick, and we'll try it by doing a cap. All right, let's give it a pie. Let's give it a try. All right, so what we're going to do this time is we're going to set up a cap for both Seed and AAW, and then we're going to release our Strikers and see if anything goes a little differently here. So I'm going to define area, rectangle. We'll go ahead and give it a little square here. Control F11. Uh, we'll do tar cap, and this will be our AAW folks. Okie doke. Let's grab all of F16s. Looks good. Groups of four. Perfect. Don't change it. And we're going to send everybody up at the same time. So uh, we'll say time on target. I'll do 14 o'clock, because why not? 14 o'clock. Perfect. Go ahead and click there. Looks good, looks good, looks good. All right, let's create a new mission. And we're going to call this one Seed. What do you call this? Seed and Deed. I know it doesn't look like D, it looks like Dead, but deal. All right, press okie doke. We'll go ahead and press OK. I didn't order anybody to do that yet, so it doesn't surprise me. Grab all of our 16 buddies, toss them in there. In groups of four, everybody goes at the same time. So they're going to be concentrating on time on target. Uh, we're going to send these two minutes later. So we'll go say 14.02 o'clock. Perfect. So now our F-16s, our seed and Z-Deeds, comes just a tiny bit after. So now I'm going to grab this target right here. We'll go ahead and add our final mission here. Strike it better this time. All right, strike. We're going to do a land strike. Press okie doke. We're going to press relax. It doesn't matter. I haven't done it yet. <laughs> we'll add all our strike eagles. All groups of three here. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep it pretty straightforward. Like I said, not doing anything weird here. Knock off the two runways. Looks good. Three, da, 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 da. check my numbers, check my numbers. Time on target. We're going to set them to be there at 14, 10 o'clock. So that way we have a little tiny bit of time here for them to actually do the deed. All right, strike it better. Seed and deed's all set. Tar cap is all set. We are ready to rock. So let's see if things go differently this time. All right, here comes all of our seed guys, which is sort of funny because if you recall, I told them to be on the target at 14 o'clock, but they decided to get out a little early. I don't know. They're just... They're enthusiastic, what can I say? Let's see what happens this time. All right, so far pretty good. Ooh. I did tell you guys to be there at 14 o'clock. Sigh, we would have to have done active and inactive missions to make this one work better. Oh, there goes another Sam. Ooh, ouch. Hmm. Nope, they're out in the air. Okay. Just seemed like I didn't see a lot of F-15s cruising around there. That's okay, though. Looks good, looks good. Unfortunately, they're going to uh, be completely gone by the time my actual strikers get here. Kind of problematic. Whoa. <laughs> did you see this guy? He did like a triple donut, and he's still flying. What does he got here? Oh, he's like 30,000 feet, that's why. And, of course, now all my escorts are all going to head home, which is very problematic because that means anybody who launches after the fact is now going to run smack dab into my regular strikers. But at least we're able to kind of see the two things side by side. All right, here comes my tight group. They're all going to split apart like they're supposed to. Ready, here comes the strike. Wow. So far, so good, actually. b b, -b, -b bombs away. Yep, that's going to lag any computer. <laughs> I think that's it. Everybody go home. Since this when you hit F9, you can see that like last three fighters that you didn't over there, and they just kind of do their quick little thing there as well. All right, off they go. I don't know what's with those attackers. They're just sort of chilling there. Nice. That was, that was different. That was very different. Whoa. -oh. Looks like uh, somebody got the message a little late there. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's an F-15 group. They must have uh, finished refueling or whatever. I don't know what that was about. All right, attempting retargeting. Gotta love those AMRAMs. Those things are pretty, pretty brutal. I love the range we have to shoot them at them to actually get a hit, though. 
I love how realistic this has become. And then all the rest of the escorts are going to show up and deny them the ability to even operate from their own base. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. All right, let's see. About the same amount of hangars, about this. A little less MiG-29s, but probably some of the one home, some of the SN-18s. A couple of these went down. Let's see here. All the Sukhois are down. Let's see. Some of these went down. Okay. And then pretty good effective strike so far. Losses. Uh, we lost three F-15Cs and we lost one F-16. No F-15Es. So I think in this particular case, it's actually safe to say that uh, whacking them really, really, really hard with a tar cap was actually more effective than having them be escorted. But obviously there's times when you're going to want both escort and tar cap, especially if you're going to be dealing with a smart human player that'll do things like ambush you from the side along the way. But other than that, enjoy.